What is interlocking bricks? Is interlocking brick good for construction? Pros and cons. In general, the construction process and masonry are difficult, time-consuming and expensive. Different types of construction methods are considered and developed to overcome the difficulties and problems encountered during construction. At the same time, the materials and equipment used for construction are also fabricated to improve the quality of construction and reduce time and cost. One such breakthrough in the construction industry is the interlocking of bricks. Interlocking bricks are an improved form of traditional clay bricks. Each brick is designed to seal itself to other surrounding bricks without the use of mortar. Automatic locking is achieved using the shear key and the lock mechanism. Depending on the design, the shape of the shear key will vary and provide a complementary lock on the opposite side of the brick. Load transfer is achieved by shear transfer and gravity. Interlock bricks are compacted and stabilized earth bricks, which contribute to the strength of the structure. They are not usually packed. Interlock bricks come in different sizes and locking systems depending on the supplier. How are interlocking bricks made? High quality interlocking bricks are made of cement, sand and stone dust mixed together in appropriate proportions. The required materials are batched and mixed proportionately. Once the required mix is prepared, it is then compressed to form bricks with desirable interlocking patterns. The compression is achieved by using a hydraulic compression system. The bricks are then subjected to curing for about seven days. High quality interlocking bricks are mixed together in appropriate proportions by cement, sand and stone dust. The required ingredients are compiled and mixed in proportion. Once the required composition is prepared, it is compressed to form bricks with desirable interlocking shapes. Compression can be achieved by using a hydraulic compression system. Then the bricks are cured for about seven days. Once cured, the bonds with the cement set and sand add to the stability of the brick. Soil compaction adds strength and density to the brick. Interlock bricks come in different designs, finishes and shapes. Advantages of interlocking bricks There are many reasons why you may want to use interlock brick. Let us first go over the benefits of interlock bricks. Economical, interlock bricks are made of cement with the addition of cement and sand, so they are made of cement at a lower cost than conventional bricks. In fact, interlocking bricks cost 35% less than conventional bricks. Interlock bricks may contain 10% cement, with the remaining mixture containing soil and sand. Earthquake resistant, the reason is simple. Ordinary brick relies on mortar for its support system. If the mortar fails, the entire wall or building will fail. But interlocking bricks have their own support system that does not depend on the mortar. They effectively support each other. Governments recommend, in earthquake prone areas, some governments recommend interlocking bricks. Interlocking bricks may be a better choice if you are building in an earthquake prone area. Better insulation in hot areas, interlocking bricks are also suitable for hot areas. Because it is compressed, it has more mass and the brick keeps the interior of the building cooler. Environmentally friendly, the use of interlocking bricks can help protect the environment. Not only will they use less concrete and mortar, but building occupants will not need to use as much air conditioning as the interior temperature is lower labor shortage, not only does it cost less to make interlocking bricks, but it also requires less effort and fewer workers. For example, there is no need to check the water level compared to ordinary brick. Curing faster, if you want to quickly build a building, interlocking bricks can help. No need for long curing of bricks, only need to cure for seven days compared to two days. Durable and require minimal maintenance. Interlock bricks are strong and durable. Requires less maintenance than standard bricks. Recovering easy, if you decide to remove the structure later, it is easier to restore the bricks without damaging them if you use interlocking bricks. However, if you use a motor, it can be very difficult. Disadvantages of interlocking bricks. However, the use of interlock bricks certainly comes with its drawbacks. 
Here are some disadvantages of using interlocking bricks. Damage caused by daily use. Unlike conventional bricks, interlocking bricks are generally not plated. On the one hand, it may save you some money and time in advance, and result in more wear and tear. The reason why plastering is not used is because the interlocking bricks are already made with exterior designs. Dot. Low resistance to extreme weather, interlocking bricks are less resistant to extreme weather conditions, including heavy rain, as plastering is not used. In fact, they are more likely to be damaged by leaking water compared to conventional bricks. Low resistance to infection, for the same reason, interlocking bricks have a lower resistance to pest infection. Plastering is an important buffer to protect against insect infections. Not suitable for high-rise buildings, interlock bricks are not safe for high-rise buildings. In fact, they are only good for the first three floors of a building. That is why interlocking bricks are usually reserved for residential buildings and are not used to construct commercial buildings. Not very popular, interlocking bricks are uncommon. Standard brick has not changed for a long time. If it's not broken, by the reasoning of most people, why fix it? FAQ. Were interlocking bricks safe? As mentioned, it is not safe to use them beyond three floors. Ideally, interlock bricks should not be used on structures with more than two stories. If you are building a small structure below three floors and earthquake-prone area, it is actually safer to use interlock bricks. Interlocking bricks for driveways? So far, we have discussed the use of interlocking brick for vertical structures. However, interlocking bricks are increasingly used for horizontal surfaces such as driveways. There are several benefits to using interlocking bricks to smooth your driveway. They look more stylish and good, with more beautiful and diverse designs. They are very easy to repair or replace, and you do not even have to worry about the integrity of a structure like yours if you are building a vertical structure. Using beautifully designed interlock bricks for your driveway can help you improve the appeal of your home, potentially increasing the value of your property. Ultimately, whether or not interblock bricks are suitable for construction depends on your needs and goals. If you need to save some money to build an apartment building in an earthquake-prone area, they might be a good choice. On the other hand, if you live in more temperate or colder climates where earthquakes are rare, ordinary bricks are probably your best option. Although they cost a bit more, they offer better resistance to rain and better weather protection. If you find this information helpful, please share it. Thanks.